Hi, welcome to Brickless Barbecue. I'm Mr. T and today we've got a special occasion. My 40th birthday last week and my wife bought me a Japanese Wagyu A5 steak, a huge two and a half pounder. So we're gonna trim that down and we're gonna sous vide it um, for about two hours and then we're gonna pan sear it to give it a nice crust. So I hope you enjoy it. It's not barbecue related, but it's a special occasion. So I thought I'd share this with you. Here it is. $300 worth of steak. Wow. Wow. Look at that. There's lots. Look at that, everybody. Look at the marbling. This is massive. Right. Okay. What, I, what I've done is I've tried to make it as even as possible. About an inch thick all the way around. This is going to be used for something else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the fat off because there's so much fat on the inside. There's no need for this extra fat here. I'm going to use that for a burger recipe. Oh, that'll be fine, I think. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to vac pack this. I'm going to cook it in the sous vide for around an hour and a half at 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And then what we'll do is we'll take it out and see you the top and bottom in a frying pan. There it is. Vacuum sealed and ready for the plunge. Wish me luck. There's no going back now. Excellent. So the time has come. We're gonna sear the steak in the pan. We're gonna get this pan till it's smoking hot. I'm gonna take it out of the sous vide. We're gonna pat it dry. Let's see how it looks. There we go. Make sure that's in focus. Let's cut this baby open. Wow. Smells wonderful. Have a smell, Mrs. T. Mm, fishy. <laughs> Beefy. So it doesn't look that great, but it's really soft. But this is what you get with sous vide. You get this grey colour. So what we're going to do is pat this dry down. We're going to get Mrs. T to pull the paper away, the bag away. We're going to drop it and we're going to put it on this kitchen paper. We're just going to pat it down just in order to get a good sear because if there's liquid there all the heat's going to go into evaporating the water and not into searing the meat and we need the heat to go directly onto the meat. Okay, so turn this over and do the same on the other side. Excellent. So I'm going to get my pan red hot. I'm going to change the camera view and we'll get cooking. Right, so we're ready. Now I'm going to put the fan on so it may be a bit loud, but I need it on, otherwise the beep is going to go off. Here we go. Oh 
Now that is a huge steak. And we'll come back when I turn it over. I think we're ready for our first turn now. Here we go. Do that. Nice crust on there. Maybe just a couple of seconds longer if you're doing it. I'll come back in another few minutes. Right, so I think we've got a good sear on both sides now. I'm going to lift this out onto the board to rest. Look at that. Now what I will say is we're going to let this solidify. This is There was no oil in the pan. So we're going to let this fat solidify and probably use that for our baking in the morning. But for now, we're just going to let this rest. I'll come back to you with a taste test. Moment of truth. We'll go straight down the middle of the eye. Oh, that was like butter. There it is. Let me just focus on that. Beautifully cooked. Do is I'll cut. This is T and I a piece. One extra. Let her have first pick. Happy birthday to me. A5 Japanese Wagyu ribeye. Mm. Hey, butter. It is like butter, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Best that you've had? For texture and flavour, yes. Beautiful. It's like, how do you explain that? It is like butter, it's fatty and juicy. Yeah. It's just really soft. It's an unusual texture. Seasoning is perfect. Now let's get it on a plate and eat it properly. Yeah. So we're going to go and enjoy this. Wow. That was really good. Like and subscribe. If you want to see any other videos. I've got a few cooks going on at the minute. Have a look through. See what you think of my other stuff. Speak to you again.